Today I am going over running search ads for um, house cleaning companies, maid services, um, and residential cleaning uh, companies. What normally happens um, when someone goes to Google and searches for um, a product or a service, um, they generally see an ad. Um, and so we'll type in house cleaning service and you get a bunch of ads, right? You see Handy, you see some local company, you see Thumbtack, again, you see a local company. These are all search ads. Um, and this video will show you how to uh, set up search ads um, and I'll give you some details on what exactly you're setting up and um, explain a little tips and tricks on the success we've had with running ads for different companies. We've run uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars of ads for uh, multiple industries. Um, and in this video, I'm sharing the details on residential cleaning. Um, so as you can see, Handy and Thumbtack are big spenders um, on Google. Um, and when you get to Handy, you see an experience like this where uh, you select beds, baths, uh, etc. You get a price and you're able to check out online and book a cleaner online. Uh, similar process on Thumbtack. Uh, Thumbtack does not give you pricing immediately, but it takes all your information and then matches you with a cleaner. Um, so we've seen these uh, type of booking forms exist online for a really long time. And um, what BizValley does is bring this type of booking form ability to any small business. Uh, so we um, we provide um, websites that are optimized for uh, certain industries, like this website is optimized for house cleaning or residential cleaners. Um, and then there's booking forms that make you uh, make your clients or your prospects um, able to book a cleaning really quickly online, kind of making a, a Amazon-like experience or a handy-like experience, right? Um, and really what uh, the largest benefit um, b service businesses get from having a form like this is this recurring business, right? Every week, every two weeks, every month, once you start getting somebody that has, uh, that is a recurring, recurring client, um, then you just have recurring business that they don't have to check out multiple times. They just set it and forget it until they cancel their service, either because they're moving or for some other reason. But the point being is the recurrence or uh, the amount of times you go out there is gonna happen more than once. And then your ad dollars work out because you're not looking for one-time cleaners. One-time cleaners or one-time cleanings um, can be profitable as well, but certainly less profitable. One-time cleanings when they're deep cleanings or um, move in, move out cleanings are, are oftentimes profitable, but generally, um, where where um, service industries make a lot of money is in this recurring um, in recurring business for house cleaning. So what I'll show is how to set up AdWords. Um, how to set up AdWords campaign. Um, currently, there's a promotion of five hundred bucks, which is great. Uh, I'll show you how to set up AdWords campaign and how to um, take advantage of this promo and um, get you get your ads up within like an hour. Click start now. You can see I have a bunch of other stuff here. Ignore that. Click new ad account, or it might just put you straight into the flow. You might end up on a page like this. Um, this is a guided experience I want you to avoid, and there's a reason I want you to avoid it. Um, this is an Express AdWords account. Express AdWords account are a way that uh, Google tries to help business owners set up quick ad campaigns. They're not super helpful if you're a professional. So avoid that way and look at it from this perspective or go into this flow instead. So there's another flow. Uh, where it says, are you a professional marketer? 
uh, click that, which puts you, puts you into expert mode. You can go to click in account without a campaign. It's going to make life easier for all of us. Uh, select the appropriate um, billing time zone and your currency. And it says, congrats, you're all done. Explore your account. Great. So now we're in, um, we're in the account. And what I want you to do is set up a new campaign. This is like the starting, um, the start of it essentially. So a new campaign in what entails it in, or what's in a new campaign is essentially the option to do all this stuff. So sales, leads, website, I would say ignore all this. We're trying to drive website traffic. So we, we could either click that or we can avoid this, um, this uh, guided experience and just start setting it up ourselves. Um, we're looking for a search campaign um, because what we want is to pop up in results such as this. So when someone types in house cleaning service, um, there are ads, right? This is handycare.com and then some small business running ads. Um, if you want to show up in these ads here, these are called search ads. And that's what I'm walking through here. So we're going to click search. Uh, website visits your website. So this is where you type in your website. I'm going to use this. Use the base URL of your website. So in this case, this is the website URL. I'm going to go here, put it in here. Great. Uh, campaign name, make it useful for yourself. Um, this is an example. So I'm going to call this example campaign. But in your case, you probably want to call it something like um, uh, Seattle campaign if it was a, um, a campaign for uh, the geolocation of Seattle or the geography of Seattle. So example campaign, we're going to call this Seattle. Actually, just call it Seattle campaign. Seattle or just Seattle. Okay, great. Uh, what do you want to focus on? Clicks. It gives you option clicks, impressions, conversions, or conversion value. These are more advanced things um, that I'm not going to go into detail here. I'm, I want to focus on clicks. And it says set a maximum cost per bid click limit. Yes, absolutely set a max. Because if you don't set a max, Google will take your money. Um, Running advertising in the, or running search ads in the Pacific Northwest for house cleaning companies, we've seen um, cost per click between seven and nine dollars per click for house cleaning ads. Um, this maximum cost per click is up to you to determine what your business can afford or what your business can take on in terms of uh, what the cost per click uh, that is appropriate for you. I generally set this around between seven and nine bucks because that's where we start seeing um, traffic. I'm just going to, as an example, I'm setting this to eight. Click next. Um, it says search network and display network. Um, I'm not trying to run display ads. I'm just squarely focused on search ads. So I'm going to unclick that. Um, you start doing geolocations or geotargeting. This is where a lot of uh, newer folks mess up um, and absolutely spend all their money in locations that are irrelevant to their business. So in this location or in this section, go to location options, target people, target people in or regularly in your target location. Great. That's what we want. Uh, and we want to exclude people in your excluded locations. Perfect. That's what we want. So location options, 
we, we also want to, um, so we've selected the location options, then we want to enter a location. Um, so what we're going to do here for the sake of this uh, campaign is we talked about setting this up for Seattle. Seattle, Washington, target, great. Um, and you can add nearby cities as well. Like generally that's what we do. Seattle, Washington, their uh, target, exclude, or nearby. Um, if you don't know the cities that you want to target, you probably want to pull up a map. Uh, so we can do like Seattle map, Seattle map. And we can, you'll know this, right? You run your own business, so you'll know what you want to target. So currently it says target Seattle, but maybe we want to target Shoreline and we want to target um, uh, say Tequila, so you you just add what you want to target. So uh, here, shoreline, target, and we'll do another one. Tequila. So add the city that you want to target, um, and then you can exclude cities, right? So. If you want to just target this area, but you want to exclude all the surrounding areas, you want to call out what those areas are. Uh, generally, what I do is I look at a broader picture. So I exclude Canada, I exclude Mexico, and I exclude every state around because I don't want random traffic. I don't want to pay for random traffic. So in the case of Seattle, we'll go, we want to exclude Oregon. Exclude. We want to exclude uh, Canada. We want to exclude Mexico. We want to exclude Idaho. Okay. Um, for the excluded location, just exclude whatever you want to exclude. But generally, what I like to do is exclude uh, Canada, Mexico, and any of the states around the state you're trying to um, run your ads in. Um, you can go as far as excluding cities that you don't want to target that are near the city that you want to tar um, target. So in this case, you might exclude SeaTac or exclude Bellevue. Um, or exclude Linden or Shoreline. I'm not going to exclude those, but you know what you want to, as a business owner, you know what you want to target and what you don't want to target. And that's how you control this targeting here. There's an option here for languages. Um, um, we're going to run our ads in English. So we focus on English here. These are more advanced things, uh, audience segments. We're going to avoid them for the sake of this um, video. Uh, dynamic ad settings. Um, they're interesting. I think I'm going to avoid them for this video as well. And we can go to more settings. Uh, optimize, uh, prefer the best performing ad. So we're telling Google use the best ad that gets the most clicks. Um, there's a start and an end date. Uh, you can put an end date if you like. I generally don't do that and cap um, cap budgets, but um, you are welcome to um, add an end date. And it might actually be a good idea if this is one of the first times you're running ads to put an end date um, to ensure that your ads are not, or your campaign doesn't run over and that you don't spend more than you were uh, expecting to spend. Um, the ad schedule, we're running it all day. There's no, um, there's no limit to when the ads are run. Um, but you can say that uh, you, if you don't want to run your ads at night, uh, you can turn them off here by saying uh, start it at, um, this is zero would be midnight. Um, say I want them to run six to... say 10 at night, 10 at night would be 20, 
22. So let's say 22. Uh, and that way it doesn't run at night if you don't want it to. And then there's more settings here. Campaign URL options. There's some tracking um, template stuff here. Um, I'm going to suggest that you turn on um, auto tagging and I'll show you more of that later. But, um, so that's it. Click next. Now we're building um, ad groups and ad gr groups are essentially thematic um, groupings of keywords. So you can, I renamed this ad group to house cleaning. Uh, and I'll show an example of a couple more ad groups, but we're going to focus on house cleaning now. Um, I pasted my URL here. If you paste the URL here, um, Google will show you um, what it thinks your, your, your website is about. So check this out. If I take this URL uh, and I paste it here and click Get Keywords, uh, Google goes and crawls this website. So the, it's crawling this website and it's seeing what it thinks this is about. And it's pretty accurate, right? House cleaning services near me, um, deep cleaning services, uh, clean home, etc., etc. I'm deleting all this because I have a set of keywords that I want to target and that I've already proven out to be, um, to work. So. I'll provide these um, in a separate, in an email. Uh, I'll provide uh, both the keywords and the negative keywords. Um, and you can go to um, the link in the description to get these keywords and negative keywords. And both those are super important to make this successful. So I'm pasting these. I have a handful of keywords, um, five to be uh, exact for this um, ad group. Um, and I use phrase matching um, because broad matching is too uh, too broad. Phrase match uh, is like an in between, and then exact match is, is too exact. I don't want to build out a keyword list that's exact. Although that's the strategy as well. I'm going to like a, a little bit of a broader strategy than going with the exact match uh, keywords. If you need to learn more about keyword types, uh, you can just uh, go watch like a YouTube video or um, learn more. Um, you can click on that, learn more and read more about what they mean, but it's essentially how Google, what you're telling Google, you want to bid against what keywords you want to get bid against. So we're going to go back here, take the URL. Um, and that's the final URL. So that's the URL you want your traffic to go to. Um, the display path is essentially, um, what you want to show in this ad. So this is building out your ad, right? housecleandemo.bizvalley.com. Uh, we'll just add, uh, as an example, house cleaning. Uh, and you see it pop up here as a um, as part of the URL string or as part of the URL path. Or it's not popping up now, but um, it generally does. Or in the ad, it will. If you have this as house, um, whatever you add here will show up in the ad after this slash. Uh, so how do you build ads, right? That's like one question. Uh, how do I get creative about ads? One way to get creative to get some ad inspiration is to just go online and type in house cleaning. Um, and you can borrow some of these, right? There's some, uh, some good, some good ideas. Find home cleaner or find home cleaners, um, or best home cleaner. The point of this um, exercise is to get inspired by other ads. Um, and what you need to know is you need to have home and cleaning in the headline for Google to give you a good ad score. So uh, I'm going to save us some time and give some examples of um, headlines and copy. Um, but it's up to you on what you use there. Um, so I'll just paste in some examples. Again, these examples will get shared. I'm not saying use these exact examples, but do try, um, 
you know, get inspired or just borrow what I, what I share. So I'm just pasting a couple on here, top rated house cleaning service. Great. They're all green. You can tell that Google, uh, likes that headline, um, house cleaning service provider. It's another one I'm going to paste in here. So they want a minimum of, um, a minimum of five headlines. I think this is what they're trying to do. So I'll pull on some. Bear with me as I pull in a couple more. So I'm just showing four examples. We'll do one more. I'm switching between screens. So it's taking me a little bit longer than. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, and I'll add one more to make it five. I just skipped over one. There's five ideas, right? They're somewhat generic. You can make them whatever you want, but you're limited to 30 characters, so you have to get a little bit creative. Um, so what you're doing here is creating a dynamic ad in which Google can pull any of these to create a combination of ads that they think would perform the best. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Um, headline or ad headlines, and then we'll go to uh, descriptions and you can add four and it looks like two are required. So I'm just gonna, again, borrow some from my ad library. I have some of these from, from other campaigns. Make this easy on myself. I will be sharing these out as well in that email that I was talking about. So just visit the, um, the link in the video description. So here I, I uh, just pulled in two of my old um, ad descriptions, but feel free to make your own, right? Keep your home tidy, clean and tidy with our home cleaning services, one time or ongoing services for homes of all sizes. Great. Again, you can build um, ad tracking. Um, you could read more about how to build these ad tracking. They're, they're quite robust and pretty complex. Um, but they're worth it if you need to have like very robust tracking. Um, again, you can enable auto tagging and I'll, I'll explain what that is um, later in the video, or you can watch another video on YouTube about it, but auto tagging essentially ties your AdWords to your Google Analytics um, and feeds your ads data into Google Analytics to, so you can see how your ads are performing. So we're done with this ad and you can create uh, multiple ads um, or you can add, sorry, you can add more headlines or more descriptions, as many as you like, and then hit done. And there's an ad example that Google shows you. So we go next here and then we go to extensions. What are extensions? Extensions are um, these, Things such as these, like star ratings is an extension or um, these little uh, hyperlinks within an ad, those are extensions. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how to do a couple of them. Again, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go fully into it, um, but I'll touch on a couple and you're welcome to, um, to learn more about this and kind of like build your own extension. So, um, what kind of extensions can we do here? So let's use, we could use call outs. Call outs are easy, easy to do. Um, and these are, these are site extensions. We can do call out extensions. So call out extensions are ways you can highlight what your business does or a little like tidbits about your business. Um, so call outs might be uh, how long you've been in business or um something about your business being local so let's throw in a few call outs here 
call out one top rated cleaner call out two might be local business call out three might be years in business so we're just going to make up a number 25 years in business for 25 years cleaning Okay, um, you can do call extensions. So if you want to add your phone number to ads, you're more than welcome to. Um, you can just add your number here. Uh, and then you could add a, you could do a schedule if you want. Um, if call reporting is on, um, Google will reroute the number you put in here into their number, and then it'll provide some call reporting on uh, when the call was made, how long the call was, and the uh, caller's area code. I'm not going to set this up right now. I'm close this up. And then I can create, we can create uh, one site week as an example. So we might say book now. And a site link is one of these things within an ad. Uh, you see that they have service area or what's included. You can do the same thing. Um, we can just do book now if you want to send people straight to your booking form. So we'll copy the link to the booking form. We'll add it right here. And um, this description is for yourself internally. Or maybe not. This is oh, I need to provide additional details about your site and help people know. So you can add something here or not. It, it would probably be so the site link now would say book now. It would link to here. The description of a site link, and I don't see descriptions here, so I don't really know how they work. I'm gonna ignore that. But feel free to, to dig into that and learn more about that. Um I'm gonna click and there's many extensions. I'm looking at site links call outs and call extensions. There's uh, a variety of extensions um, that you can explore. So we're gonna click next here. It says set your average daily budget for this campaign. I'm just adding 50 to here, but um, add whatever feels right for you. I think that if you're too restrictive, if you say, oh, I only wanna spend $20 a day, Google might do some oddness where they only give you a, a um, a certain amount of traffic and you're trying to get more. So this is uh, something you can mess around with. On the daily, you can change your daily budget daily or hourly as often as you want. I'm just setting 50 now um, because it feels right, but this is just do what's right for you. And then Google says it's checking for errors as it's going through all this stuff and it says, um, you can expand to Google search partners. This was something I, I unclicked into the search network setup. No, I don't want to do that. And I don't want to dis, uh, expand into display. So they're giving me a bunch of suggestions. Sometimes they're worth doing, sometimes they aren't. I'm going to ignore that all. I want to get this into market as soon as possible. I'm clicking publish campaign. Bam, that's the first campaign, right? That's your first ad group. This ad group is explicitly about house cleaning. So what we can do now is go into, um, go into example two of what we might do here. And the uh, campaign here, the next one might be, um, let's call it maid service, right? And we're gonna go through the same process we just went through. Um, maid service. Maid services are very closely related to house cleaning, obviously. Um, I do have some keywords that I'm just going to plug into here. Again, you can put your URL here and then go through the whole process of cleaning up suggestions. I do have some your uh, some keywords that I just plug in here. Uh, and we'll go through the whole ad process that we just went through earlier. So I'm pasting in these keywords. Uh, that are related to the maid service um, ad group. So maid service, maid cleaning, house maid, uh, save and continue. Um, 
we can change this to be made related. So made service. Again, you don't have to do this, but you're welcome to. And then Google pulls in your old headlines and you can just tweak these or type in made service and then get inspired, right? People are running ads about made services. So um, you can get inspired by ad, head ad headlines here or just make your own. Uh, I'm just gonna tweak some of these for the sake of, of time. So top rated made service, right? We can service. And I'm just gonna work on all these made services services provider. Let me see what other ones I have here. Something about um, professional maid service, book your, your maid service today. Maid. Service. Your maids are great. And then for the description, I'm just going to pull into all descriptions that I have. Great. Again, you're welcome to make these very unique and yours, or you can just borrow these. Um, so that's done. Here's what the ad would look like if it went live. Uh, again, it's calling calling site links or call extensions or call outs. I'm gonna ignore all this and you can actually set these up at, um, at the campaign level. So um, instead of setting them up, them up for each ad group, you can set them up at the campaign level and they'll feed down into your ads and I can, I'll show what that means later, but um, you set them up on the higher level, on the top level of your campaign, of the um, parent campaign, um, and it trickles down into all your ads. So we'll go to save and continue. Great. So now we have two ads, um, ad groups. What we'll do is we'll create one more ad group. Uh, and that ad group will be around apartment cleaning. And you'll notice that these are thematic, right? Uh, maid service is related to maids. House clean is related to house cleaning keywords. And then the third one we're going to do is related to apartment cleaning. So what we're doing here is we are renaming this to apartment slash condo cleaning. Um, I'm pasting in the keywords that I have ready here. So these are all related to condos, apartments, studios, flats. We're gonna continue here. Um, you can see that Google is pulling in um, my old ad uh, setup. So I'm just gonna make a few tweaks here. So part and or maybe we can do condo, condo. Um, top rated, you can change this to condo or apartment. That goes over, so we can just change that to condo. Condo. Um, what else do I have here? a few generic ones don't like cleaning we do book your your condo condo cleaning today book a cleaning today in 60 seconds enjoy i'm just pasting in a bunch here 
drive clean unit today, schedule, schedule instantly online. All right, great. So we can go to the descriptions here, change them to make them condo and apartment friendly. Okay, now we have to add that read like this. Top rated condo cleaning service, enjoy a clean unit today. And then some description language. We're gonna click done here. Again, call outs or um, extensions are great. Set them up at the campaign level, not at the ad level because then you have to individually manage them for each ad. Um, so you can do both ways, either on the ad or on the campaign. Um, I'm gonna ignore these for now or skip over these. Look into ad extensions um, if you wanna get deeper into the ad setup. So now we have one, two, three different ad groups, all specific around these, um, around these uh, themes, apartment, condo, maid service, and house cleaning. Uh, now we're going to go back to the campaign, right? So we're looking at the campaign level here. And we can go in the campaign level and we can go to settings. Within settings, um, there's additional settings. And additional settings allows you to do um, some additional things. And what I'm looking for actually here is auto tagging. So auto tagging. Or tracking, maybe. I'm going to have to actually Google this. It's been a while since I did this. Auto tagging. To go to settings, account settings, auto tagging. So settings. Go to account settings. Where the heck would that be? Maybe here. Let's try. So what you need to do here is get out of your specific campaign and go to the upper campaign or to your like parent page. And you'll see any campaigns that you're running here. Go to settings, uh, go to account settings, go to auto tagging, tag the people that click through my ad. Yes. Great. Save. Um, and then within your analytics, you will be connecting your AdWords and um, analytics account. And then that will feed into your, your ads data will feed into your analytics data. And you can see what customers are converting on which keywords. Um, so negative keywords are super important. Um, negative keywords filter out a bunch of garbage that you don't want to bid on. Um, Here's an example I'll give you. So I have a example here of apartment cleaning, right? I want to bid on the word apartment cleaning. What I don't want to bid on is apartment cleaning jobs, right? Because I don't want to have people that are looking for jobs click on my ad and cost me uh, between, you know, five and ten dollars. That's not what I want to do. So over the years, we've collected a pretty massive um, negative keyword list. Um, it'll be shared with uh, the keywords, the negative keywords, the ad uh, headlines and copy. All that would be shared. But the negative keyword list we have is around 400 
keywords that we um, exclude our ads from running because they're not conducive to business. They're not commercial terms and we don't, we don't like them. There's odd ones like uh, erotic apartment cleaning. Um, unless you run an erotic apartment cleaning business, you don't want to be um, targeting those keywords, right? So we put it into our negative keyword list. Um, also, you probably want to exclude, um, you probably want to exclude keywords such as uh, the states that are um, neighboring you. So if you're in Washington state and we are, uh, we would exclude um, Oregon, Idaho. Essentially, I would exclude all 49 states that are not Washington. Um, and then I would also exclude the abbreviations of those. So if I want to exclude Oregon, and then I want to exclude OR, right? So you're just being very specific about the terms you want to exclude. Uh, envision someone is in um, in Washington and they're, uh, they want to go they're moving or something and they're looking for a cleaner in Oregon, you definitely don't want to show up for those keywords because you don't clean in Oregon. So uh, just keywords are very um, important. Do some additional research on what keywords um, do to ads. There's tons of YouTube videos on this, but it, it's a very important part of the um, AdWords setup. Um, I think that's it. I think you can... Uh, from what I showed, you can set up three ad groups. Um, you can start running this and start seeing some success. I'm thinking for a test to see what kind of results you might get, you probably want to set aside $500 um, to test it and see what you get. Um, generally, if you put anything less than like $250, $300, you're not going to see much data to support whether a campaign, running an ad campaign like this would work for you or not. Um, but you know this is pretty much a test to determine if AdWords would work for you. It's worked in the past for us, for many clients. We've spent a considerable amount of money on this, and this um, this model has worked for, for us pretty well. Um, good luck running ads. Uh, I hope this video was really informative and helped you understand what ad groups are about, what campaigns are about, and what and how this whole process works. If you can't. Uh, if you set all this up and you don't feel comfortable with it, you could probably hire somebody on, um, hire a freelancer, someone on like Odesk or something, uh, or Upwork to look at your campaign and explain it to you a little more in detail. Um, but this should get you running. Um, and again, you can turn stuff on, on and off pretty quick. Like all of this is very easy to turn on and off. So I'm going to turn this off because I don't actually want these ads to run. So I'm going to pause this. Um, and that's it. Good luck.